Hello there. Do you remember that little prank I did on my daughter with the chimes from her clock? Um, well, at least one of you wanted me to make a little video of how I did that. Obviously, part of the how was just to record the clock. That's fairly straightforward. And then there were some manipulations. And one of the things I did is to use this, <laughs> which um, is just a soldering iron stand. Um, and when you drop it on the, the bench, you've got various noises, which I recorded. And I obviously edited those. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what I did. Well, mm. <laughs> Now we're going to chop all those little bits up and make a sort of clackery broken sound. So that's what that sounded like. Got some clipping there and there, but for, for this project, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so uh, you know, there's, there's just bits of noise. What we do is chop it up. First thing I'll, I'll tend to do is just play that. Okay, there's nothing there. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Again, you can hear it. Actually, there's some sound there. So what I tend to do is keep everything that, that might be useful. Uh, control Alt and I just sort of chops that away. Can't hear anything there, so delete that. So we're just, you know, just trimming it down to what we need, so there's still some sound there, so I'll probably, you know, it's a short piece, I'll probably have that, Control alt and i and Control shift f just to compress everything down so it fits, or oh, if you haven't watched my video on how to do that sort of thing, you might want to. Right, so having done that, let's listen to what we've got. Um, I could just, I mean, it's sort of like, where does this want to start? Because, uh, you know, I'm going to just jumble them up. I think I'm just going to just quickly jumble them up. Actually, I think I want these springy things. Oh, yeah. I want some more thuddy things at the end, I would say. So, yeah, let's see what we've got. Okay, put them. So, something like. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> oh dear, I think something might have broken. So that, that's a sort of semi-realistic kind of crash. We've got the ordinary chime here. Um, if I just take this lot um, and then slide them along. So where do I want it to be? Right at the end, let's just think. <laughs> So that's just a you know silly pitch shift at the end there, uh, you know. <laughs> just a little tip about anything that you might do um, is, in order to get a complete project, not every component has to be complete, um, but you have to have every component. Does that make sense? Um, so, for instance, if you're building a car, um, you, you know you might decide that, that paint isn't that important, uh, but you've got to get your wheels on, you've got to get your motor in, you've got to get your steering in. You could even manage without seats, you could argue, or not the right seats, you know, just, just a sort of an old tea chest or something would get you by. Um, and so with this, what do I need? Well, I need to have at least one sound effect ready uh, so I can play it through the speaker. 
and then I can come back and work on tunes and other more complicated things at a later date or a later hour. So um, I think I think the one I like is this one uh, that we were just working on. Uh, What happened? <laughs> what happened indeed. Um, if you haven't seen the original video, uh, do check it out. You'll see how the prank went. And uh, obviously I haven't explained every little detail. I uh, didn't want to bore you. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it's worth checking out my Audacity uh, introduction uh, for some of the tips and wrinkles. Um, but really, it's just a question of messing about with those effects and seeing what you can get. I mean, it's quite uh, engrossing, and I would encourage you just give it a go. It's free, Audacity. Give it a go. See what you can come up with. <laughs> 